Right, Woolies is next. We're taking a little bit more time on this one, so I guess we'll have to speed up here, Wayne. Yep. Uh, Woolies is the combination, of course, of food and clothing. And remember, its business in Australia is now larger than in South Africa, and that's mostly clothing, although mm. they're reverse fitting a bit of food into David Jones. Market cap, 68 billion rands. You're going to see in a minute the share charts of this one does not look happy. Yes. Price to earnings ratio is compressed down to 14.25. Historic dividends, 4.82 the yield. So that reflects also the share price compression. Let's have a look at that. So you can see there it's at 100 rands a share at the end of 2015. Now it's trading in the 60 rands a share range. So it's gone from a market cap also downwards. So it's done all of its rights issues and it's yep. done all the expanding. Do you think Ian Moyer can deliver what the market wants? Why is it so low? It's had disastrous results. You look at the latest results, South African operations, they went backwards in real terms, in turnover. Mm. Their turnover growth was lower than in inflation. Food was on inflation, so food mm. was zero volume growth. Because food but has always been strong yeah, in their case. Food, and I mean, I... I'm actually a little bit cautious about food retailers next year because food inflation is coming down, which mm. is actually not good for them mm. because they make well, a 1 or 2% margin. And if your turnover doesn't grow because there's no food inflation, you don't get that margin growth. So mm. general merchandise, clothing, all the other stuff they sell went backwards massively. Which had, of course, to do in part with the seasonal difficulties, well, they, weather they, problems, stock issues. They told stock everyone issues. the warm, warm winter, yeah. they got the wrong stock and then in probably everything, in there a bit everything. of competition from the foreign Very much so, partners, the H&M's H coming in. and all that, because that's going to eat them a little bit. Having bit. said that, the, f the clothing offering from Woolies is transformed compared to what it was some years ago. Yeah, look, ago. they're bringing a lot of, a lot of the traineries, all that stuff, in. people like I mean, this, is, this is what I've got here. Yeah? Oh, very, very nice good. suit. <laughs> the shoes, they brought in some shoes, very good. Yeah. Not cheap, but mm. they are good. So maybe they're changing their offering, but the last set of results, the last trading update, more correctly, that they gave, the clothing and merchandise went backwards mm. about 5%. It was really big. And then what about Australia? Because we know that this they're moving that either. building revamp where they're moving their head office to some warehouse in Melbourne and then they're going to take the expensive properties in Sydney and redevelop them. And you know, yeah. that sounds like a net plus. It could be, but mm. once again, very similar to South Africa, the sales went backwards. Mm. Because of course Australia good. is not immune to the global issues not of commodity all. prices and uh, and when you and when you softness. read what what Woolworths say, it's just one quite frankly one one problem after another. It's funny, maybe it's because I own the shares. Yeah. When I read those results, I didn't come away with a feeling that they were too terrible. No, you see, I there's didn't a bit like of confirmation it. I, bias I didn't like there. it. But having said all of that. When last did Woolworths trade at a 14 P. PE and almost a 5% dividend well, yield? you know when I mean, it that's did. That's unheard of. I remember when in, I don't know which year it was, either 2005 or 2003, where yeah. it was trading at 20 rand, then it fell to 12, and everybody said, ah, oh, this one's finished, and then now it look, went from 12 look, to 100. Look, this is an extremely good company. They're going through a tough patch, mm. and quite frankly, that's the time to buy a shares mm. when it's going through a rough patch. So are you going to go hot on this I'll one? I'll go hot on this, but I will say that I think we're probably going to get more price weakness first mm. before it mm. turns up. I think mm. it, I think this one's mm. going to sit there for a while, but it clearly, in my view, represents good value longer term.